So this is Laser Motive inside the Skunk Works. Oh, my chief, one of the chief skunks. I'm the chief <laughs> scientist for Laser Motive and one of the founders. And you're standing next to this, uh, what I'm, looks like a tent or a TP without the membrane attached. I'm, what I'm is this? standing next to Otis, uh -huh. which was a climber vehicle that uh, won us uh, $900,000 uh, from NASA for their power beaming challenge last November. Four minutes. And they hit it. They Four hit minutes. It. They hit it. There, they hit it again. <laughs> they hit it again. Roger just for the heck of it. Yes. <laughs> See that on video. Yes. They did it, huh? Wow. The challenge that we had was to build a vehicle that would climb up a cable mm -hmm. uh, hung from a helicopter, had to climb a, a kilometer, a little more than half a mile up a cable. Uh -huh. uh, without having any power stored on board, so it uh -huh. had to be powered from the ground. Um, in principle, the uh, aim was to demonstrate technology to power a vehicle that could climb up a space elevator cable all the way to orbit. Mm -hmm. uh, in practice, it's uh, probably more uh, useful as a demonstration of beaming power technology, which is what we wanted to do. Mm -hmm. So what this is, is a uh, panel that's been partly disassembled here, but it was all blue. Each of these rails has uh, special solar cells that receive laser light to convert to electricity. Feed the electricity so to some power electronics here. Drive a motor, which has also been dismounted, but which mounted right here in this ring. A uh, little motor about the size of your fist that puts out more than a horsepower. Wow. Uh, driving a little drivetrain here to these rollers. The rollers are actually cut down skateboard wheels and uh, these rollers would grip the cable where my finger is. I really would not want my finger here if it were yeah. running. Mm -hmm. uh, and drive this up the cable. And the rest of this structure is to keep it lined up on the cable and to protect it. It had to be lifted off the ground by the helicopter. It was mounted on the cable on the ground. Mm -hmm picked up by the helicopter to about 100, uh, 100 meters up, 300 feet up. And then we would turn on the laser and it would go on up the cable. And in fact, you can see uh, this is a section of cable that we have on a treadmill for testing it. So we could run it on a kilometer uh, for testing while it was still here in the lab. So the way we actually had this set up, the laser beam would start here, the laser is mounted somewhere else. Mm -hmm. The beam would come down here, bounces off mirrors and up to these mirrors which are basically amateur telescope mirrors we had custom made. Mm -hmm. And then from that it's now a collimated beam, comes down here, bounces off this and goes straight up. This is the tracking system oh, okay. that we have which is a camera that looks off of that same la uh, mirror so that the camera sees the same place that the laser is going to hit. And this actually climbed a kilometer cable at four meters a second, mm -hmm. uh, which was faster than the two meters a second we needed to win the prize. Very impressive run by Laser Motive. Can you repeat the time? Was there an official time? Well, officially, maybe a little over four minutes to go 900 meters.